Hey, what is up guys, Colossnex here, and today we're gonna to talk about what I think is the most underrated leg exercise, the side lunge. So to do the side lunge, you space your feet out pretty wide apart. You're gonna point your toes a little bit more forward for this movement, and then once you're all set up and ready to go, toes pointed forward, you're gonna sink your hips to the left or the right. So you're trying to avoid twisting your body to get to your feet, you're trying to just sink your hips and you know, get down as deep into your ankle as you can. And something else to just keep in mind when you do this, you're trying to keep your chest up. You're not trying to tip forward. It can be really easy when we're doing a difficult exercise like this and we don't have the strength in our legs to do this or the flexibility to just tip over forwards, you know, just top heavy. And then by doing that, we shoot our hips out backwards and we're still getting low, but we're not bending our knees and challenging our leg muscles. We're just letting our upper body and hips do the work. So that's something we're trying to avoid. We're just trying to isolate our legs. So this next alternative that I'm doing here is I'm using this pole here and putting it at the center of my body and I'm using it as my source of balance. So when I hold the pole here, I'm able to get a lot deeper. So this is something that might be a good idea if you don't really have that leg strength and you need a little bit of help getting that depth or you don't quite have that flexibility yet. So this is really gonna challenge all the leg stabilizing muscles that you've got in your lower body. It's going to work, you know, those inside and outside muscles in your leg that are hard to hit. A lot of the times in the gym, when we're working our leg muscles, we operate very much in a box. We're moving forward and backwards, but our body is designed to move laterally, and it's easy to forget that that is an important movement too. So doing an exercise like side lunges can help improve our balance, our stability, you know, can build up some really good leg strength, like a solid foundation. I'm not even using any weights to do this exercise, but it's still super tough. So once you've gotten comfortable with the depth of the side lunge, you can move on to weights. So you can either have a barbell on your shoulder, loading the weight up top, or you can use dumbbells like this and do your side lunge and you're just moving the weight kind of out of the way. So I'm having one dumbbell going to the outside of my leg, the other one just kind of hanging down on the inside. So you do need to have a certain level of strength and control to do something like this because you are using weights, which does add a level of difficulty and risk. And I'll admit, I'm not super great at this. This is something that I'm working on still. And uh, the more that I practice it, the deeper that I'm able to get into my side lunge and the stronger my legs feel. So I definitely think that this is a super underrated exercise. So the next time you go into the gym and you're gonna do your leg day, just do side lunges with your normal lunges. You know, you can do them after, or you can work them in. Doing things like clock lunges is a good way to work in those side lunges because it kind of hits lunges at all angles. So I would definitely recommend this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Otherwise, please consider subscribing. It would really help me grow my channel. Colossnex out.